Hello YouTube, I do appreciate your time. I do hope to be able to continue to make videos throughout the summer, but you know, there's many things going on in my personal life and my professional life, and that's a great thing, and I'm very excited about it, so you may not be hearing so much from me. Nevertheless, I do have eight videos that are in the can that I will be pulling out and sharing with you, not including the ones that I will be sharing with you today. Since we're talking about channel business, let me go ahead and share with you a couple of thoughts. I have a method to my madness when it comes to the order of subjects I tackle and discuss with you. Sometimes my flow is interrupted. This frequently happens when I am either burning out and need to take a break or when I am preoccupied in my thoughts. I think as long as I select to make videos that I do have an obligation primarily to myself but also to my supporters and audience. There have been many things that if it was not brought to my attention I would have remained uneducated and uninformed until I stumbled upon it via a different way. I had all of these great thoughts written out just ready to share with you. But then my computer decided it had a mind of its own and decided it would hold the file hostage from me. So I will be speaking today directly from my working comprehensive material. Hopefully I can organize it in a way that doesn't drive you crazy. Some time ago I had a video that I had mirrored titled Must See HR 5736. I thought Maybe I was premature in uploading this on my channel. Therefore, I placed it on private. Premature because, frankly, I did not invest the time that I needed in order to feel comfortable with mirroring this video. Not that every video that I mirror I agree with, but I do try to acquaint myself with a understanding of what an individual may wish to communicate to their audience before I share it with you. I may restore it to be an addition, an additional voice in regards to this subject matter that we'll be addressing today. I want to address with you my concerns as a result of my direct research. I am not claiming my information is new or groundbreaking. I am selecting to have a conversation that I hope will be clear and meaningful. This video will be very lean on the visual aspects that are possible. I just do not have the time to make this as I wish, admittedly. I may redo the video, however, the visual portion of it, that is, at a later date. We will be discussing government officially deploying propaganda throughout the country. I think I can make this claim with some authority, so please listen closely. Those who control communication by means of technology which allows one to reach a large group of people controls the masses. We know there has been a concentration of power in the media. We have fewer than a dozen multinational conglomerates and their many interests providing us with so-called news, etc. I would go so far to say that the government via its fourth branch, which is the media, has formed an informational oligarchy in this country some time ago. There was a reason why TV and the computer were desired to be in every American home. It just wasn't for the profit of selling the device. We may speak about this at greater length at a later time. It surely makes it easier for those like Viacom, News Corp, Disney, General Electric and others to influence the citizenry. In a way, they have unto themselves acquired godlike powers. After all, for those especially in the Western world, they are an omnipresent entity or entities. Like various religious institutions, they share a commonality, the knowing that they administer much information that is not carefully evaluated information that quickly is placed into the belief bin of your consciousness. Like religion, they have assured the masses via their superficial methods that they are deserving of their perpetual loyalty. Like religion, we know that the media, in its priest-like role, 
understands the power that they have, the power to create and redirect various thoughts, various possibilities via the roads of fear, guilt, propaganda, deceit, and distinct interpretations of your reality. It is the easiest means of convincing you to release your revenue and profit. It is the easiest way to trick us into accepting we have no power to shape our world. It convinces us, though it speaks in double tongue, though it tells us the very opposite many times, it convinces us we have an insignificant amount of influences regarding corporate growth, executive pay, and the refueling of their ego via our attention. We can say this because reality shows us this is the case. Let's take advantage of a teachable moment. This is mainly for those who rarely pick up a book, rarely think for themselves, that fails to comprehend the need to ask good questions, and that may have an intravenous drip from Big Brother into their consciousness, a direct one. The North, East, West, and South coverage, known as the news, generates what is called news bits. These are not unbiased pieces of information. It leans towards those interests that will help the corporate parent achieve its goals of profit maximization. This may be by pushing conservative, right-wing views onto a gullible public, it may be by demanding singularity of consciousness, by conditioning audiences towards those views it sees as paramount, paramount, that is, in securing your allegiance. Do not fall for the okie doke and claims that are made regarding news reports being created as right and factual pieces of information for your consumption. No, 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 no. They are created to produce the highest ratings possible, which in turn means greater profit for them. Your interests are routinely ignored and exchanged for that debate, which frequently is presented as squabble or ineffectual speech making, which will fit the interest of the elite minority. Got it? Good, let's move on. <clears throat> so why are the American people seem to be so stupid that we need a parental figure. Part could be because of our behavior, behavior which is revealing of our condition, our lack of maturity. Part could be the mental and emotional composition of those who are the chief architects of our experiences. There are other reasons, I am sure, but this is enough for our consideration during the course of our conversation. So, the parental American units of doom feel it is necessary to distribute pro-American propaganda within the country borders. Now, I find this hard to swallow, but we can understand why this is such. I bet it is due to creating, maintaining, and in some cases, regaining control. You see, they imply there is a successful operation by Al-Qaeda to persuade the world against Western ideas. What I am making reference to is their answer to that problem, and that would be the amendment tagged onto the National Defense Authorization Act for the fiscal year of 2013. Thanks to Mr. Adam Smith, Democrat, and Congressman Mac Thornburg, Republican. We have here some bipartisan love, don't we? As they introduce the smith munt that's capital M-U-N-D-T, Modernization Act of 2012, also known as H.R. 5736. It appears the micro and the macro of our existence is disclosing to us collectively our shadow selves. For example, we have drones that are being used to murder enemies of the state, as well as innocent people. We also have subservient drones of the human sort that participates in unlawful, premeditated murder. They are collectively fueled by our unwillingness to think, 
question, act on what we comprehend. We are strategically and consistently conquered, in part due to our lack of demanding better of ourselves first and then our governing bodies. I have long ago given up on the masses, though I am a supporter of our ability to transform into something better if we select to do so, and this takes much work. The masses, though, seem too far gone for me to reason they will recover from what seems to be a flatline state. There are many things that point to this, but the success of certain conglomerates that they have mustered in directly swaying the public opinion on virtually every subject is telling. You say I am overreacting, that I am walking down that road of conspiracy theory? Well, say so all you wish. If you catch me on the right day, I may pour an overwhelming amount of evidence upon your head to show the legitimacy of my concerns, and then maybe I won't, because it is our responsibility to do our own work. But maybe some have not connected the dots, and they are trying to do so. Maybe that is it. When we are openly saturated with propaganda, and I will speak to those who are trying to understand, and I think I do understand this part. So, when we are openly saturated with propaganda and therefore have been made captives, we can no longer claim we are not engaged in warfare. Think of an economic state of warfare. Here we have an activity which is undertaken by a political unit or an agency of it to destroy or weaken another. Now, substitute the economy of the external, think of Wall Street or greenbacks and resources like oil, for that of the control of expenditure of your personal currency, which is the production of your mental and emotional energies. Do you see it now? Do you? Still no, huh? Okay, think of it this way. If HR 5736 becomes realized, the likelihood of our ears becoming theirs, our minds contemplating what they want us to believe, and our mouths spouting their distortions becomes much more probable. We are creatures of habit. We can already see how pop culture has influenced our country and the world. Let's take a lesson from that. Basically, what it would amount to are infiltration tactics against your internal activists and the rapid and continuous delivery of the party line. This is meant to de-escalate and retard the minority communities within your being, which generates dissent. Have we forgotten our history? No, we really haven't forgotten it, have we? Collectively, we are too busy with the likes of sports, sex, and various addictions to be entertained by history or to understand its significance. Well, I do remember learning of Tunisia. The police there basically became the propaganda enforcers and the thought police in function. That is, if the thought was materialized. They ensured that the regime's propaganda was spread as truth. They were infamous for abductions, long-term detentions of anyone deemed a threat to the state, and for spying on its citizens. I doubt this place will ever realize a reset point where the country no longer struggles to create states that will be less inclined to inflict these practices on their citizens. Oh, do you think that we are too sophisticated in our thinking and movement, collectively speaking, that the United States cannot possibly move in this direction? If so, let's not be chesty. It does not serve you. I will leave you with this thought. When we closely examine the war on terror, there appears to be threats that have in one way or another been presented to the American public. These more than likely can be justified if the public is willing to surrender even more of its fundamental freedoms, what some would call rights. One of the things we will see that is presented to us is the semi-transparent increase on the ability to spy on American citizens. Another is the detaining of Americans indefinitely without a trial. Basically, the forsaking of constitutionally protected activities. 
then we have the attempt to permit the U.S. governing bodies to deploy propaganda inside the United States. When this happens, yes, when this happens, and it will eventually, do you not think that any opposition would be thought of and defined as one that should be suspect of terrorist activity? I encourage you to enjoy what will be a new institutional history where we will be provided truthful or accurate information from those who have no track record to ensure this will likely be the case. So, oh, you, you, don't, you don't get what I just said, huh? Well, well, we live in a country that loves its democracy, which does not truly limit its power. We are supposed to trust crooked representatives of the American people within a representative democracy that has supplanted the constitutional republic. People that want to create your domestic awareness of international affairs. Create your awareness. You better get it together, America. Thank you for listening.